Before we continue with the exhaust duct, we will <clears throat> we will generate our fume hood. Okay, just pick a size, pull it up, make a component, called fume hood. And give it an indication. What's the front? What I'm about to show you now is very important, as you can make uh, all groups and components compatible to three scan tools. You can do this by adding a piece of pipe or duct or steelwork. In this case, we select ventilation imperial pick our position in this case I want to have it centered pick a straight pipeline for example zoom in to get a better overview and we select 6 inch by clicking can now indicate the length which is random in this case and now very important you click on this piece of pipe make a right click Hover down to pin outside visible and activate pin 1. So pin 0 is always your starting pin. And as we want to have this pin 1, which is the end of our pipe, to be visible outside the component means that three scan tools recognize this pin as a pin they can attach to. What that exactly means will be shown in a minute. Now we leave the component. Just move it a little away from the column. Duplicate it. So oh, now we're done. Now that we have the foam hoods, I will show you how to use the pipe conceptual. So if we hover over this already existing reducer, it will automatically recognize the standard and size, and I can just continue to design the pipeline. In this case, an elbow. Selection again shows you where you want to have the elbow facing. We use face downward, <clears throat> 90 degrees, and a radius to diameter ratio of 1. We attach a straight piece, indicating three feet. Add another elbow facing on that side, double clicking to confirm the cap parameters. Make a straight piece of in this case six feet. We add a T piece, which is supposed to be two feet long and it's facing towards our fume hoods. So now that we have to select the size or the dimension of the outlet, we can hover over the fume hood and it will immediately catch the pin outside visible of this component and pre-select it in our T outlet. A left click confirms that and just leaves us the selection of the length of the outlet, which we will do. We just use these two components now, mark them, and use the connect tool for the first time. A left click allows us to either move the selected parts somewhere else, or by hitting the control button, just duplicate them. Now we will duplicate these four parts another time in order to have an outlet for each and every one of the fume hoods. To connect the fume hoods to the outlets, we basically have four possibilities. The first possibility is what we started out with. You just draw a straight pipeline, add an elbow, edit it to the appropriate height, 
by catching this pin. Add another straight piece. Add another reducer facing towards this, 90 degrees. Edit this one to catch this outlet. And do the final connection here. To be honest, it is quite fast, but it never seemed fast enough for us. That's the reason why we came up with a second solution, which we call the pipe elbow. In this case, we have to pre-select the direction in which the elbow is facing. Double-click confirms the last used elbow. And now we can catch the height of the outlet in this step. By clicking that, we can do the same thing. By now doing it with the second elbow. And we finish the connection. But our software engineers went one step further. And we came up with the following by clicking the start pin and the end pin. It will automatically calculate which possible connections you can make. And if you make a left click, it will give you a variety of possible connections from the starting point to the end point. In this case, we just take our radius to diameter ratio of 1. And by now clicking left one time, the connection is done. I don't think it can be any faster than this. <clears throat> In exhaust, you sometimes have the requirement to do flexible connections. We can also do this. We just add a flex. Now we can see that we have a collision of this flex with our steel. In this case, we just hit the edit, hover over our flex, make a light left click and give it another bending point. Now that we have the possibility to lock the axis and move our flex away from the steel beam and we have a good connection now. I will now remove this flex connection because I will show you something different afterwards and I will just replace it with our connection like this and move the whole T-piece a little outside of the beam. So to show you uh, the edit function one more time, you can, for example, move the whole branch, including all connections, wherever you want to have it, and a left click will automatically update all edited parts of the pipeline. It sometimes happens that in your project some parameters change. In this case, we got notice that the height of the building has to be reduced by two feet. We use the edit tool on our steelwork and lower it by two feet. And see now that we have a lot of trouble with our exhaust. But if you use free scan, as you can see now, this is not really a big problem. So we can adjust the height very easy and fast.